I'm Lisa Greenberg with some of the top stories from Fox 4 Morning News. We have a tragic story out of Captiva. Emergency response teams have found the body of a man off the coast of the island. The Lee County Sheriff's Office shared a video around 930 last night of the search for a missing swimmer. Deputies say the man's wife was walking ahead of her family when she glanced back and saw her husband and eight year old son struggling in the water. The Sheriff's Office says she jumped in. The man was able to pass the child to his wife, but he continued to struggle and disappeared. Search teams were able to find his body around 11 o'clock last night. An overnight crash ends with a fire. Firefighters with the Iona McGregor Fire Department say this crash took some electrical equipment with it, which is what started that fire. Florida Power and Light says just over 50 customers lost power because of this. The call came in just after 4 o'clock this morning on Cal Cove Drive in Fort Myers. No word yet on if anyone was hurt. A Southwest Florida woman is facing 15 separate charges this morning. She's accused of crashing her car, leaving the scene, and then leaving again. Police say on Monday, the driver of a white SUV rear-ended another vehicle and took off. This happened in front of Cape Coral Hospital on Del Prado. The report says this driver tried to get away but crashed. Officers say Naima Rivera then tried to run away, but they were able to catch her on foot. Well, the tropical disturbance that right now is located in the northeast Gulf of Mexico, 8 o'clock advisory expected to move westward, could become Tropical Storm Barry tomorrow, will not affect southwest Florida. Storm Shield radar predictor, predictor rather, showing a few showers this morning into the early afternoon. By mid-afternoon into the evening, the showers move east of I-75. We should have a fair amount of sunshine along the coast. That will allow temperatures to rise into the upper 80s to around 90 degrees with that mixture of sun and clouds and the scattering of storms Thursday into Friday. Saturday through Tuesday, a different weather pattern, morning sunshine, afternoon and evening storms, high temperatures around 92.